Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about TE mode analysis of circular waveguide. So TE, nothing but TE stands for transverse electrical. TE stands for transverse electric. So transverse electric field. Transverse electric field is having EZ equal to 0 and HZ not equal to 0. So electric field component is equal to 0 and the magnetic field is not equal to 0. So from the wave equation, <coughs> Helmholtz wave equation. So standard this wave equation del square HZ is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon HZ. EZ term will not be there because EZ is equal to 0. And what is HZ? HZ we need to write in terms of HZ we are writing in terms of R, phi, T and Z. R, phi. R and phi these are the coordinates of this uh, circular waveguide. And T is the T indicates that this wave equation is varying with respect to time and Z indicates the direction of propagation. So HZ R comma phi e power j omega t minus gamma z <coughs> okay so expanding this equation using this cylindrical coordinate system as in the case of tm wave like a do square hz by do r square plus 1 by r square do square hz by do phi square plus gamma square hz plus do hz by r do r is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon h into hz okay so the above equation can be simplified using the separation of variables method using separation of variables method hz is equal to hz is equal to p into q <coughs> okay where p is a function of r and q is a function of phi so substitute what is uh, hz in this p into q here here also p into q here p into q here p into q here also p into q after the substituting and uh, simplified equation of that equation will be so hz is equal to p into q a n dash cos n phi j n dash nothing but Bessel's function derivation r h n m e power j omega t minus gamma z okay see here i have taken the equation directly after simplification and after substituting and simplification Okay, because I have discussed the same topic in terms of rectangular waveguide and in the last video like a TM wave, TM mode of the circular waveguide. Okay, same equations uh, will be coming here also. Some assumptions are there in between, same equations you will get. So, where HNM is nothing but P dash NM by A. What is this? This is the solution for the Bessel function. HNM is nothing but solution for the Bessel function. It is the solution for Bessel function like a JN of R comma H. Okay. Now, this HNM values can be obtained. HNM can be obtained 
from the table p dash nm p dash nm so p dash nm is nothing but what is the value of n what is the value of m then what is the value of h okay so let us take this table m is equal to 1 m is equal to 2 m is equal to 3 here n is equal to 0 n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 several values will be coming up to 3 we have taken here <coughs> for n is equal to 0 n m is equal to 1 that is p dash 0 1 this particular value will be p dash 0 1 and this value for this hm is hnm nothing but h 0 1 this value is h 0 1 what i am writing here 3.832 all these are experimental results on this bessels function we no need to do that just whenever we want in the calculations we can directly take from this table okay so 3.832 and here it is h 0 2 this value is h 0 2 and it is 7.016 7.016 and this value h 0 3 it is 10.173 and now n is equal to 1 m is equal to 1 it is h n m h 1 1 h 1 1 it is 1.841 and it is h 1 2 5.331 and it is h13 8.536 <coughs> and h is equal n is equal to 2 m is equal to 1 nothing but h21 that is 3.054 it is a h uh, n2 m2 so h22 6.706 h23 9.969 <clears throat> h31 it is 4.201 it is 8.05015 nothing but uh, h32 and it is 11.346 nothing but h33 okay these are the different values for this h bessel function solution <coughs> now all these equations after simplification we will get what is that hz so hz can be written as again the axis of i is oriented to make bn is equal to 0 and the axis phi is oriented such that bn is equal to 0 bn is equal to 0 then the final equation is hz is equal to a and dash j and dash a h n m cos n phi e power j omega t minus gamma z <coughs> okay now using this above equation using above equation the four wave equations can be written as so what are those four e wave equations hr h5 er and e5 these are the ultimate four equations we need to get as in the case of rectangular waveguide, we have got hx, hy, ex, ey. Okay, here we will get hr, hy, hr, hy, er, e5. 
already these four equations will be having some uh, expressions in terms of dou e z by uh, and dou r and dou e h z by dou phi after substituting e z is equal to 0 and h z is equal to this one a uh, a n dash j n dash a h n cos n phi e power min e power g omega t minus gamma z we are we will be having four different equations for these wave equations so those are h r is equal to minus j beta by h dash n m a dash n m j n dash r h dash n m cos n phi e power j omega t minus gamma z here dash indicates the derivation and e phi is equal to minus omega mu by beta h r and h phi is equal to minus j beta n by r h dash n m a dash n J, j of j of n r h dash n m <coughs> sin n phi e power j omega t minus gamma z and e r is equal to omega mu by beta h into phi, h phi okay so these are the four wave equations we have obtained after simplify after substituting and simplifying the equation hz and ez in the four wave equations okay thank you